All right, so let's take a look at some electron configuration examples. <clears throat> and uh, why don't we start with uh, carbon. So carbon, look it up on the uh, periodic table, and you'll find that it's got a atomic number or proton number of six. So there's six protons. We need six electrons to make a neutral atom of carbon. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start filling from lowest energy to higher energy. And so there's this little memory aid that you can use to remind you of the uh, electron filling orders or the relative energy levels of these orbitals. For F, so we've got uh, SPDF as these uh, orbitals and increasing one, two, three, four for principal quantum number. And we're going to, I mean, we don't really need it so much for carbon, but I thought I'd go through it just to be. Um, robust and so carbon we need six so we're going to fill 1s first and 1s since it's an s orbital it can have uh, two electrons spin up spin down then we're going to fill two again same story it's an s um, two p and so we've got two plus two is four we need two more so two p two so that's the electron configuration for carbon <clears throat> let's take a look at another example um, and this time, actually, let's um, let's look at neon. Okay, that's a it's an inert gas, noble gas, and it's got um, atomic number of ten. So we're going to again go through this same process we had over here, and we're going to start to fill electrons. We got one s two, two s two, two p six. We can actually fit six electrons in p, right? That's what this box diagram reminds us of. We can have spin up and spin down in each. That gives us six electrons. So this is what we've got at this point. And that is the electron configuration for neon. Now, neon's very unreactive. And it's interesting to pay attention to the fact that this has got a full P um, and a full, in fact, a full to um, correction 2s as well, right? Yes, that little guy is full as well. <clears throat> Why don't we take a look at, let's go a little heavier, and let's look at argon. All right, argon, there's argon, and it's got an atomic number or proton number of 18. Interesting, so um, you can write this out, 1s2, 2s2. Again, we're just going through increasing um, energy levels here. 2p6, so that's 10 electrons. We need eight more. And if we fill 2p, we're going to fill 3s next, and then 3p. So we're going to fill 3s. It's going to have two electrons in it, and then 3p, and it's going to have six. And that's 18. Um, now, a couple of things that are worth mentioning, or one thing that's been worth mentioning at this point is it was rather tedious, perhaps, to uh, listen to me go through and write out those. Um, Initial electrons, we'll call them the core electrons a little bit later, um, those ones closest to the nucleus. So, in fact, if we want, I can say, well, that looks, that's neon. So, a shorthand notation that's often used is we say neon, put in square brackets like that, and then just add the outermost electrons. Okay? And so these outermost electrons, of course, are called the valence electrons. So we can just write the valence electrons and then wrap the core electrons up into that inert gas. <clears throat> Again though you'll notice a pattern here, right? We've got 2s2, 2p6 for neon. For argon, 3s2, 3p6. And in fact, there is this this arrangement with 2 plus 6 equal to 8 is a very stable electron configuration. It's known as the stable octet. Okay, or, or octet stability. And it, uh, what uh, we've observed is that if you have, for a given principal quantum number, say n, for this particular shell, if you've got two electrons in the s and six in the p, that electron configuration is particularly low energy 
and atoms will try to achieve this low energy electron configuration. And that's the basis for bonding. We're going to see that atoms start to participate in bonds in order to achieve this electron configuration. So in fact, if we go back to carbon, you know, you'll see well how far away from the from that stable octet is carbon. Well, it's got how many valence electrons does it have? It's got two plus two is four. So you may, and I'm jumping a bit ahead here, but if you've ever seen carbon written out like this, say with hydrogens all around it and a methane molecule, well that is showing you that you're making four bonds to form uh, that stable octet. You get eight uh, electrons around the carbon. So that's the stable octet. I hope that was useful.